was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Girl is jam-packed today. I could not wait to talk to you. We want to chillax for a minute in a thrift store, go through here. You know what I mean? Check out a couple things. I think I pick up one or two things. It was really quick and fast after work, but this was like, I needed it because I was like, mm, you know what I mean? So, and look, the plates, the three that I left, finally gone. Somebody finally took them. I was so tempted on this chair right here. Darn, I should have got it for the other side. It's all good. I got that little tiny desk. So I'm decorating right for spring in the video. Pulled out the same patties. I found it. So I'm doing that. Girl, I done broke some things. Kara got a brace on. She fell. I was at the doctor. I couldn't breathe. It felt like somebody was sitting on my chest. It's been a week. I could not wait to talk to you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, isn't this pretty? The plate is, I think it said the Marine Corps here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Had to get it. Had to get it. So... Yeah, just going through here and then I'll meet you at home, girl, because it's about to go down. So this was the only thing I grabbed from that walkthrough. It was really quick and fast. I had the bestie with me and I was just kind of running in real quick. But the Tun Tavern, November 10th, 1775. So this is the birthplace of the Marine Corps and it's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes on that. So I'm thinking that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So I'm thinking... I want to put it with all of this going on right here, like maybe grab like a stand and throw that in there. I'm going to see if I can make it work because remember I told you this reminds me of like Independence Mall in Philadelphia, right? So yeah, and it says Philadelphia, like it's a whole vibe going on. So I want to see if I can get that in there too. Yes. Okay, this is what I came up with. I, oh my goodness, I love it. It's perfect. Kind of got the plate on a slant a little bit, right? And still, you know, rocking all the wording. You can see the vase, everything. The lemon, the limes are popping. So that is perfect. I love it. So I just used one of these I grabbed from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's the smaller one and it's actually let me show you. It's sitting inside of the basket so that it's like right up against it. So it's perfect. And the fact that the wording is on both sides of this vase here is perfect too. So yeah, we rock it. All right, so here we go with the greenery bin, right? I just pulled this out from the garage. You know, I'm trying to match up the bin. So the black with the yellow tops from Home Depot love them i think they have red ones too but i didn't like those so i pulled some of the stuff out that i feel like i definitely want to use some of the farmhouse some of my fakery i got going on here you know i really can't rock the real deal holy field plants you know i have a couple and they've been okay they've been doing okay how cute is that girl so I'm not sure if I'm going to use everything, but this is the greenery bin. So I think I'm gonna just start putting stuff in places and just see how it rock. You know what I mean? We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. 
I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this little tiny desk. This thing is so super cute. And when I pulled out the greenery bin, I knew things were going to start falling into place in my head. This fit perfectly on that seat of the desk. And then I grabbed these from Amazon last year, I feel like. And you know, the vase is from Timu. And I had it like this at first. And I was like, girl, that don't look right. <laughs> Switch that around. So, you know, I did that. These are some plants that I grabbed from Home Goods. I feel like last year has that wicker bottom. I'm going to move them and then I'm going to move them back. It's a whole thing, girl. But this bird right here, I feel like this either Target Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree. I think it might be Dollar Tree. Fits perfectly in the center of that basket. And I thought that these little plants right here, girl, went right on in. Put the top on the side, boom, finished. <laughs> it's perfect. It is perfect. So I'm just going to spread some more of the fakery, right, going on on the ladder so I can have a little bit of the greenery over here, too, with all the items that I thrifted. I'm so excited still about this thrifting, girl. But yes on that. Don't wanna be shy. So this just happened. First of all, I was trying to clean it. One of the eggs fell, but well, that's fine. Look, the refrigerator open. It's a whole thing in here. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So I'm about to cry. I, I have legit tears in my eyes right now. If you guys have been rocking for a minute, remember how excited I was when I found these. Y'all, I'm looking for these. <gasps> Yes, yes, yes. They are here. Oh my goodness. This is them, you guys. Oh my goodness. And if one was going to break, why? <laughs> I don't want any of them to break, but not my farm fresh. Oh my goodness. Girl, I asked Tubby if he could fix it. I don't know, but. All right, so let me just move these back here for now. Girl, I am so, I am so disgusted right now. Oh, goodness. I'm going to bed. Yes, on the DT Good Good. They wasn't really rocking this week. I didn't, at least up until the time that I filmed this, this is all I was able to get. But yes, on the crazy socks. So... Remember, I have all the ones like the Twizzlers and all of that kind of good, good, right? The ketchup and the A1. <laughs> so now they rocking soda. I saw Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, but my favorite was Sprite. So I grabbed this one. That is cute. That black with that whole, it's like a B situation, I feel like. But yes on that. The Smurfs, I'm rocking all the way. Yes on that. And then the Ring Pop. Girl, I still... Put the ring pop on my finger and <laughs> like a kid yes indeed so those i grabbed this i feel like i had it before fresh success that classic mild guacamole mix so grab that and then the coleslaw i feel like i haven't seen this so wanted to grab i do love coleslaw wanted to try the jalapeno right on that uh wild caught tuna girl and this one right here, that's sweet and spicy from Thai chicken. Yes. <laughs> so that's probably rocking. And I told you guys I'm getting ready for a little vacay again. So I wanted to rock some of these $1.50 shades, which they look really cute on me. So I wanted to do something different. Grab these, right? And then these right here, they are really different. 
So yes, on that, they look so cute. So that is all I grab so far um, this week. If I grab anything else, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And I got my mug over here. This thing is so stinking cute. But I'm about to make some tea. I'm not really feeling like myself. So I'm going to just make some tea, head upstairs, and watch some of my favorite YouTubers catch up on that, right? So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to rock this right here, the Organic Echinacea Plus. I feel like I need a plus <laughs> right now. So I'm going to do that real quick and drink up. Hopefully, I'll feel better soon. Oh, my poor baby in this brace. So she dislocated her kneecap getting up from her desk. She kind of got twisted up and she fell right on it. It's so big. Oh, my goodness. I, my heart is breaking for her. She's chilling, though, with her iPad. This has been her chillax spot. Um they tried to pop it back into place, but because of the swelling and all the fluid around it, they just, oh, girl. <laughs> Y'all remember when I was all, she take right after me. <laughs> so, yeah, she's been, mm, she's been my poor baby. Why am I excited? <laughs> To go into the closet and get the decor right, throw it in here, what I'm going to use next. I, I'm i so happy I did this. So I need to grab the St. Patty's Day stuff out so I could throw up real quick. Yeah, the Nomi's and all the good, good. Look at that. And then boom, on Easter, which is really going to be next week. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So yes on that. Oh, I'm so happy I did this. I'm crazy. All right, so here we go. This is what we got going on. Throw this right on up. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a touch. And Kara said, you know, March, St. Patty's Day. And I was like, yeah, you're going to help mommy decorate? But <laughs> I don't know if she will. Yes, on the flowers. Her one-on-one -on -one came by to spend some time with her. And uh, she bought her some flowers. You know, Kara loved the flowers. Always want to sniff them when we're in Walmart. So this was perfect for her. That was so sweet of her. But I just put them in a Dollar Tree, you know, vase I had, threw some bunny ribbon on there. I had that. I have a bin full of ribbons. So it was perfect, girl. But you know, mm -mm, I can't rock the flowers. I, I think I am more of a plant person I can tolerate as far as allergies. But girl, not these flowers. But I'm going to put them up here with Elmo. So they could do some things, right? Yes. Okay, so I threw the basket that I put the stuff on on the table. That was yesterday. <laughs> it's a new day, so I'm going to throw some things up. Oh, wait. I found the St. Patty stuff. It was in a smaller random blue bin. I was looking for the black one with the yellow top, but thank goodness I marked them. So I just pulled you know, all the stuff out that I wanted to use. It's not that much, but you'll definitely know it's St. Patty's in here. Pot of gold. Remember I spray painted this a few years ago, girl, because it looked like cheese. That's the original color. Mm-hmm. So yes on that, right? And just some mugs, some legs up here, right? The stuff from DT, right? Some coins and things, some birdhouses. So... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of put it around. It's mainly going to be in the kitchen. I feel like everything else might end up being the Easter until, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just put it up and rock with it. So when I grabbed this out of the garage, it slipped out of my hand. And when I was taking the stuff out, I realized that I broke the handle. <laughs> I'm breaking my done all over the place. But it was a clean break. So when hubby puts this back on, it will be flush. Like you won't even notice that it broke, but still, it slipped out my hand. Um, and it's not, it wasn't even heavy. I think I was trying not to break a nail. <laughs> and this happened. So, girl, but he'll fix it for me real quick. I wanted to put this here. Girl, I think that's so cute. I think I grabbed this from um, Home Goods, I feel like. So, Hubby fixed my Farm Fresh, but it has a big hole in it. Because, you know, it's a piece that I just couldn't find. And you can still see the crack or whatever. But I, I still love it. So, we just going to rock the hole 
for now and throw that on. I was so heartbroken. Oh my goodness. Y'all saw the excitement. So, yeah, it's going to rock like this for now. I don't even care about the whole... He said he was going to do something else to it, but... So, yeah. These are the flowers that I thrifted. The very first thrift with me, I did. And they were in this vase right here. So, I don't want them in here. I feel like I need something taller in here. So, I'm going to take these out. Yeah, I'm going to take these out and throw them on a the ladder. Yes, right on in here. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, rock it just like that for a minute. Yes. I moved these from the living room tables back in here. There is hardly any light that they can get in the living room. So I moved them back in here and I moved the ones with the wicker back into the living room. Look at Sid over there, chillaxing with her doll, nice and relaxed too. So I'm going to throw these Nomis right here. These seem to fit perfectly in this space because the Nomis were kind of tall. So yeah, it was kind of cute. And just throwing some more very subtle, you know, you'll know that it's St. Patrick's in my home, right? But not too crazy. And the St. Patrick's just flowed with the greenery fakery, right? So I was like, yeah, this is going to work. Something small in the powder room, quick and fast. And then into the kitchen, I'm just going to throw these tiles up. I feel like they're from Dollar Tree a couple years ago, right? And remember, I did thrift this. So I'm going to put these Dollar Tree, um, this Dollar Tree greenery in here. Because remember, I said I wanted something taller in that vase. So yes on that. I do switch out the truck over here, putting a sign, just one little simple sign out here in the foyer and then over here on the coffee bar, my marshmallows with the cute little hats, right? Just going to kind of squeeze them in there. And then I have, you know, a few beads that I'll put around in different sections. Yeah. And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that? I was on my nerves so bad because I kept going up and down the steps for something else and kept forgetting my nail glue to use. So I asked hubby to give me his, you know, glue that he uses for all of his ships and all of that. Good, good. So I'm going to just glue this on and... You know, I told you it was a clean break, so I'm going to hold it in place for a little bit. And yeah, I figured since I don't have that much St. Patty's that I wasn't going to do the mug holder because I would have to take that down in like a week. <laughs> so to put up the spring Easter and all. So I just the mug holder is going to stay you know, empty just for another week or so. And I figured this tray is so big, I can put all the mugs that I have in here. So that worked out perfectly. This is the tray that I grabbed from Aldi's. So yes on that. So I'm going to spin this around. This was perfect. The rainbow, the legs, the clovers, the spatulas. Like it was, I had a whole thing going on here. So th this is the back of it. Um, 
the happy St. Pat's is in the front. So I'm like, darn, the salt and pepper shaker should be in the front. And at this point, I don't know where the other, you know, salt and pepper is. It's one missing, but it was inside one of the mugs, girl. So I want those in the front. Oh, I found it. There it is. I want those in the front. So I do kind of maneuver. So when you see it at the end, it's going to be switched up. But yes, that's perfect in the middle. Throw some coins in there around for filler, right? So that I don't see a lot of the wood. And girl, I'm going to be good to go. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feel it. So I put the Happy St. Pat's on the riser in the living room. I put the birdhouse out and the gold coins in the dining room. So, oh my goodness, I love it. It's simple, perfect, not too cluttered, not too crazy. It's all good. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Bye. I could stop the time, don't you know?